Hey guys, here's a newspaper from the past that shows that giant mound builders were exhumed from Maryland. I'm Praveen Mohan and this was published in a newspaper called The Clinton Morning Age on November 16th, 1897. It says, Bones of Giant Indians, prehistoric men, seven feet tall, who once lived in what is Maryland. There has just been received at the Maryland Academy of Sciences the skeleton of an Indian, seven feet tall, discovered near Antietam. This piece of news goes on to say, there are now skeletons of three powerful Indians at the Academy who at one time in their wilderness roamed over the state of Maryland, armed with such instruments as nature gave them, or that their limited skill taught them to make. Two of these skeletons belonged to the individuals evidently of gigantic size. The vertebrae and bones of the legs are nearly as thick as those of a horse, and the length of the long bones exceptional. The skulls are of fine proportions, ample with walls of moderate thickness but of great strength and stiffened behind by a powerful occipital ridge. The curves of the forehead are moderate and not retreating, suggesting intelligence and connected with jaws of moderate development. So you can see that this piece of news says that there's not just one giant skeleton who stood more than seven feet tall, but there are two giant skeletons at the Maryland Academy of Sciences. It is of great interest, however, to notice that the locality was at an earlier date, before the coming of the white man, occupied as a village site by Indians of great stature, six and a half to seven feet in height. So what happened to these giant skeletons? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.